Hey, Joe, how you doing? I'm good. How are you doing, Terry? So we're trying this interview thing again. I uh, tried to interview you a few days ago. We did the whole thing, and then I pressed the button, and it took a still picture. That was funny. Yeah, that, uh, you know, because I am a professional. <laughs> so, Joe, uh, let's just start from the beginning. The last time we saw you was out in Southern California last year on the first leg of the tour. Mm -hmm. How the heck did you uh, end up here? Well, uh, Bruce gave me a call one day and said, uh, we've got some issues. We need a truck driver. So I... Uh, uh, he said, would I be interested? I said, okay, sure, why not? Let's give it a shot. What do I need to do? Awesome. And Bruce knows you because you used to live in Dalton, is that correct? That is correct. I lived in Dalton, born and raised. Which is, uh, you know, pretty much our home turf. Yeah. And so uh, that worked out great. And you came out, uh, well, right now we're in uh, Terrytown, New York. But right. you, where did you come to? To meet us. I met you guys in uh, Minneapolis, and uh, uh, you were passing through from one concert to another. You picked me up, and we went down to Iowa City. Okay, so this is what happened first. Let me see if I get this right, and please correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. So you first get here, and of course we have this trailer that we had a issue of being overweight. So right. that's why we decided to get the truck. Correct. But we were left with a trailer that we didn't want. That so is correct. Bruce said, gee, Joe, how would you feel about driving the trailer behind a pickup truck to Nashville and right. drop it off and right. then drive right back right. and uh, meet up with us within a day? And you thought that was a good idea? Uh, you know what? Uh, Part of, part of the reason I'm doing this is because Bruce is a friend and I was doing him a favor as much as, you know, being here and hanging with people and getting paid at the same time, always <laughs> a good thing. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, if that's what he wanted me to do, that's what I'd do. And at that point, I wasn't actually in the truck driving. So right. we rented a pickup truck, hooked the trailer up to it. That was in Davenport. We went from Davenport, me and one of the other crew guys, that would Sean. Be Sean, yeah, who, Sean, who was so happy to volunteer to go along. He actually, you know, if he if he wasn't happy, he didn't really show it. He yeah. was he was a he's a good kid, and we had a good time. Yes, he is. And uh, so we drove uh, 550 miles from Davenport, Iowa, down to uh, almost into uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, dropped the trailer off at about uh, eight or nine o'clock at night. And then got a room and came back another 550 miles back to Davenport, where you guys picked us up again. And that left, of course, uh, just Heath and Everett to do the uh, lights and video wall. Okay, and then everything was absolutely flawless. Perfect, and, uh, hunky dory. Like uh, a couple of days ago, we were in Ithaca. <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, I was. You just got photobombed. <laughs> So uh, I, uh, we were in Ithaca and we had to get to uh, New Bedford. And, uh, correct. So you drove to New Bedford and there were no problems. Uh, well, a little problem. Uh, on the way through New York on Route 79, I was, uh, I was directed into a uh, rest area by a New York uh, state trooper. Maybe uh, he was a local cop. I'm not sure actually. And he, uh, and they did a safety inspection on the truck. Which I'm sure was flawless. The truck passed with flying colors. The Good. only problem was the truck was 33,000 pounds, and you need a CDL license to drive anything 2,601 pounds or greater. So huh. I don't have a CDL at this point in my life. So they basically told us this truck's not going anywhere with you driving it. We need to get somebody with a CDL. Which would be the only one was Bruce, Bruce, who was on our bus. Correct. So we drove an hour and a half back to the side of the road, where, where you we and were. Heath were being uh, uh, wined and dined by the state police. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that. More or less, they said pull over and stay there. Yeah, exactly. And then Bruce came. You guys came in the bus. Bruce took over the driving job, and we made it safely to New Bedford. And there were no problems between there and uh, getting to New Bedford, right? Well, Except <laughs> there was a little problem. Uh, 
between there and there too. We did get a flat tire uh, on the front right side of the bus or of the truck. I mean, we don't know what happened. There was no obvious sign of it uh, being punctured, but hey, we ended up on the side of the road and guess what the bus had to do again? Uh, oh yeah, we turned around and came back and picked you up again. <laughs> yeah, and uh, he kind of waited there with us until we got it all taken care of. And uh, and now we're in, uh, where are we? We're in Terrytown, New York. Oh, thanks. I We're in to your know. town, New York. We're in my town. <laughs> yes, so great they named it after me. Isn't it though? It's spelled different. All right, well, Joe, thank you for illuminating us on this uh, great thing. And uh, are you going to stay for a while? <laughs> Did we burn you out? Or? No, I'm ready to go. I'm, awesome. you know, I'm ready to go. So I, I just was, uh, I was just glad that you got to do this interview correctly instead of interviewing me for ten minutes and then taking a picture of me with a video off. It could still happen. <laughs> uh, check it. Is it running? Uh, it's running. Okay. Well, thanks, Joe. I hope the uh, the next part of the tour is a little less uh, crazy. Adventurous. But you never know. We have fun out here. It's not a job. It's an adventure. Yeah, it is. Thanks, Joe. All right.